Hey, what's up, dear viewers of the tube? My name is Mark and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to quit Kratom. People refer to it as Kratom, Kratom. I'm going to refer to this as Kratom. And the reason why I'm going to make this video is because somebody, one of my uh, subscribers uh, or just viewers uh, watched my video. I'm going to try to leave a link to this video um, on top here. And uh, if I don't forget, if I don't forget, but uh, I'm not sure if he wants me um, to give out his name. Well, I'm not going to give out his last name, but his name is Travis. So, Travis, if you are watching this video, thank you so much for sharing your success story. Yeah! And I'm really glad that you utilized some of the tactics that uh, were discussed in my video that uh, I shared with you. And I really give you props and respect for, for doing what you did. And uh, Travis basically was um, is on lockdown, like many of us are, because of this pandemic. And Travis was able to kind of utilize this time and leverage this opportunity that he has. Uh, and instead of just uh, you know do nothing with his time, he actually um, decided to change his life. Uh, for the past three years, Travis was actually um, using Kratom. He started off uh, using the uh, poppy uh, pots he i don't know honestly i'm not even sure what that is but he she shared uh, i'm gonna try to um uh share with you the snapshot uh of the conversation uh of the commenting that he he left on my um um uh, on the video and you can again you can read the whole story if you click on the video um that i just um on the link that i just shared with you so basically travis was using Kratom for a very long time and his dose was actually um, fairly large uh, he was doing 30 grams a day and the reason why I know that 30 grams a day is a lot because when I was uh, messing with Kratom for post-acute uh, withdrawal stage years ago I remember I was taking about um, five to six grams a day and I did it maybe three times a day the most so I was taking 15 grams a day and that was a lot I mean uh, compared to my buddies that took uh, you know seven grams 10 grams a day so I know that 30 grams a day for two years is a fairly uh, large dose and uh, what is um, very surprising and I was very pleasantly surprised to find out that all he did was he took about 40 to 50 grams of uh, loperamide and some vitamin C. Uh, he didn't share the exact amount of vitamin C, but I'm assuming he took about um, five, six, you know, seven grams a day. And vitamin C mega dosing is phenomenal. I, I believe that uh, vitamin C mega dosing is what helped me not get coronavirus from my wife, who actually was tested positive, who was in isolation for. I don't know, 10 days now, and uh, taking larger amounts of vitamin C definitely helps me with many different things in life. And uh, one of those things is actually um, my building my immune system. So anyway, back to Travis's story. So uh, I also did some additional research about um, Kratom and how addictive that uh, medic uh, the medication is. And I know a lot of people... Um, think of Kratom is this miraculous and nature made uh, substance that helps them stay away from uh, illicit drugs and prescription medication. Stop. If you experience withdrawals when you stop taking that substance or medication or drug uh, gives you withdrawal symptoms, then this medication is highly addictive. And again, I know it's natural. I know you can buy it. Um, in any uh, smoke shop that's how i was buying it for example i know you can order online without any major problems i know it all uh, but again my uh my point is the same it is addictive in my opinion and if you are using kratom to get off i don't know painkillers or h or anything else you have to use it short term just to deal with the uh, uh, most acute stage of your withdrawals. Anything more than a week, you're going to build tolerance and you're going to experience withdrawal symptoms. So I'm not really a big fan of Kratom because it's very hard. It's kind of hard to, to measure doses. And I know people experience uh, shortages of Kratom. Stores didn't sell them anymore and whatnot. So you can definitely read... Uh, Travis's story uh, on my um, comment section in my video but I also wanted to add that 
people that I uh, spoke to about Kratom and that they used it successfully, they used it to get off heavy drugs. They used it to get off uh, IVH habit. They used it to get off uh, very high suboxone habit. So they do not bash on Kratom. They actually call it uh, a miracle drug also, a miracle substance, miracle herb, whatever you um, want to refer to as that. But Again, it's also addictive. It prov it gives you euphoria. Uh, it gives you a little bit a uh, mood lift. Uh, so these types of medications um, are kind of scary. You know, I remember when I took it for post acute, and I was so freaking upset because I didn't really experience physical withdrawals at certain po at that point. I just I was really uh, I was having going through this winter blues. You know, it, it got cold out. Uh, it was a month or so without uh, taking anything, and then I, um, I think I lost my job. It was it was a combination of many different things, and I was uh, experiencing this uh, hopelessness. I was really low. Um, everything was like down in my life. I was really upset and depressed. So, taking um, kratom, I thought it was something natural and and. Uh, and awesome and I took it and I definitely felt better I remember I started seeing world in the brighter colors and it was in December and uh, I was like whoa that's awesome and it's natural and then I took it for uh, you know a few days maybe a couple of weeks and then I started feeling nauseous from Kratom and I'm like oh you know let me stop taking that that gives me you know crazy nausea because I was maybe taking too much of it uh, I was mixing it with uh, grapefruit juice um, as per recommendations in one of the uh, subreddits, I guess. And uh, maybe I took too much of it and whatever, but I felt, I actually threw up. It was it was very nasty. And uh, then I said, I'm not going to take it anymore. So I stopped taking it and I went through hell. I had crazy withdrawals. I'm like, what the hell is this? I thought it was natural and not addictive. So ever since then, I developed this skeptical opinion uh, the skepticism about kratom i started looking at it as uh, not a good medication it gives you nausea and uh, it's addictive as hell and when you quit this drug you also have withdrawals just like you experience when you quit oxys roxys whatever i'm sure dope you know same same thing so again i'm never i'm never gonna speak very highly of kratom Unless you want to use it for four to five days, that's my personal opinion. I'm not a doctor. This is not a medical advice. Yeah. This medication, this drug is highly addictive, dangerous, and um, I would stay away from this um, med, especially if you're using it for fun. You know, if you're using it to get off uh, harder drugs like methadone, suboxone, heroin, whatever it is, yeah, by all means, I get it. I hear you. Yeah, if you want to take it for a week or two, do it then drop them like it's hot. You don't want to touch it ever again because you will develop dependency on another drug. My personal opinion, maybe I'm wrong. All right, Travis guys. only used loperamide for four to five days. That's it. And he took 40 to 50 milligrams uh, of loperamide a day. He did not uh, overdose on uh, Imodium. People have this uh, fear of taking too much Imodium and, and die from Imodium. Meanwhile, they're taking uh, 200 milligrams of Roxy uh, a day and they feel fine. So again, 40 to 50 milligrams of Imodium a day for the first four days he took it, I believe. And he was fine. And he also took vitamin C. And you have to keep one thing in mind. Uh, he used it for two years, Kratom, for two years. And uh, loperamide in conjunction with vitamin C kind of takes care of uh, constipation part because usually when you take a lot of loperamide people uh, are scared to be constipated but vitamin C as an antioxidant kind of helps you flush everything out so you will not be constipated it's like a natural laxative that does not uh, kill your stomach basically it does not kill your intestines that that's what vitamin C does so I believe that's what this magical combo so to speak magical combo vitamin C and loperamide uh, was the key to Travis's success. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to um, ask me here in this, um, in this uh, video, underneath the video in the comment section. I hope Travis will jump in and maybe respond to some of your comments and uh, will give you some advice.
Hey guys, I wanted to make a little edit to the video that I was making about uh, Kratom, um, uh, how to quit Kratom. I know I made some mistakes there. Uh, the reason why I'm making this video is to A, let you know that it is possible to quit Kratom with minimal to no withdrawals, like my man Travis did. And also I wanted to emphasize the importance of uh, how addictive uh, Kratom is and um, it shouldn't be taken lightly. The fact that people using Kratom for pain relief, for anxiety control, for depression, what have you, um, yes, it could be um, a safer alternative in my opinion, um, but it's not gonna take care of your addiction. So if you are trying to uh, do damage control and instead of taking, uh, if you have legitimate pain and you're taking uh, Kratom to substitute painkillers like uh, Oxys and uh, uh, other strong opiates, yes, by all means, it's definitely uh, a safer way uh, to use. Uh, to, it's, there's definitely a safer way to kill pain, such as using Kratom. Uh, however, don't be fooled by believing that uh, Kratom is uh, something safe, naive, and uh, not addictive. It is highly addictive and it will give you withdrawals. So, however, I still believe that withdrawals from Kratom are not as severe um, as withdrawals from other um, opiate uh, opiates such as oxys, uh, uh, dope, and whatever. So, just be smart about it. You know, if you if you want to use Kratom for a short period of time, such as um, I don't know, a week or two weeks uh, max, then yes, you might be um, you might be in a good shape uh, without you know building uh, crazy tolerance, and um, you could actually avoid any significant withdrawals. However, try not to use it for post-acute stage. There are better there are better ways of um, dealing with post-acute uh, withdrawal syndrome, and there are different nootropics such as l tyrosine, L-theanine, even modafinil that I talked about. Uh, modafinil actually helps greatly. I have two of my close friends that are actually dealing with post-acute withdrawal syndrome uh, right now um, in April or uh, May 2020, and they've been using modafinil to cope with. Uh, pause uh, post-acute withdrawal stage so uh, they first used kratom to kind of get off their drug of choice uh four or five days and now they're dealing with uh, post-acute stage and they're taking um milder um uh, nootropics such as uh modafinil and adrafinil and uh, th l-theanine and dlpa and uh, other you know stuff you can get online or at the local health food store like gnc so yeah, my man Travis here that shared his success story, he was able to stay home for a few days. He still experienced very mild discomfort at night, uh, such as uh, restless necks and RLS is a huge, uh, huge side effect that I personally hate. Um, RLS is horrible. So he was experiencing minor RLS, but nothing, nothing major. He still slept through the night. He would wake up in the morning, uh, without any major pain and all he did was he was taking um, mega dosing of vitamin C again he did not uh, include the exact dosages but I'm assuming anything over five to six milligram five to six grams a day and he took uh, 40 to 50 milligrams of loperamide uh, for the first uh, four five days so that's that all right, guys, again, if you have any questions, concerns, please uh, let me know in the comment uh, section down below. I will also um, see if I can get Travis to respond to some of your comments and questions. And I really want to thank him uh, again for providing his input on how to deal with uh, Kratom withdrawals. And uh, I want to thank him for actually realizing that Kratom, um, just like any other opiate, is highly addictive and uh, withdrawals from Kratom are pretty hard um, uh, on your body and on your mind so and I hope this video helped somebody and if it did give it a like subscribe to my channel it was nice seeing you guys and I'll see you in my next video peace